Good evening guys, good evening Sean. Hello Milana. Hello Johnny. Hi AJ. Hello Lydia. Hi Christian. Magrit. Shahida. Janola. Good evening guys. Hello Liana. Hi Eleanor. Hello Yolanda. Hi Korma. Hello Sean. Sean, ons wil bykie, uh, ons moet Bloemfontein aan die gang kry, asjeblief. Ons het, uh, ons het iemand daar in Bloemfontein op die oomlik wat um, ons mee in contact is. Ons wil graag, dit tot ons vanavond oor gaan praat, wil ons graag in Bloemfontein ook begin. So, jy moet vanavond mooi luister asjeblief en dan moet jy ons asjeblief contact as jy belang stel om te help. Hallo Reinhard. Hi man. Hi Joanne. Can you guys hear me? Hi Ria, Colleen, Mariette, Hi Lisa Ann, Hallo Erika, uh, AJ, ja skies, ek weet nie, ek hoop jylle kan my allemaal hoor, uh, dit gaan goed met Niel, Niel is in die kaap, dit gaan baie goed met Niel, hy word gezond, hy word elke dag sterker, ek denk jylle het gesien maandag op sy live, Niel is terug, en um, ja, Niel, ja, soos ek sê, het gaan net elke dag beter met Niel, so hy is terug in council al van, denk die 28ste augustus af, so Niel is weer terug op sy pos en, uh, ja, ek, uh, ons hoop om binnen die volgende maand of so, jy weet, om dat hy bykie kan begin weer rondbeweeg en weer die mense kan begin besoek, want dis moest maar wat Niel doen en dis wat Niel van hou, so, uh, maar, ja, dankie dat jy vraag, gaan, gaan baie goed met Niel, Uh, guys, I think I'll start. Uh, obviously, tonight, uh, what I want to do is I want to discuss our one of our structures within the UIM with you guys, and that is our team slash branch structures. Um, we basically what we are busy with at the moment is, is we are busy with our national campaign for 2024. I have discussed this uh, previously on one of the lives that I've done, and I've told everybody that uh, we are not going to obviously do uh, a campaign the way other political parties do their campaigns obviously, obviously because we don't have the resources so what we are doing is every single day in the UIM as part of our national campaign so we have set up teams in well currently we've got one team set up in Cape Town and we've got a team in, in Soweto that's growing so um, these teams consist of people volunteers that have put up their hands that have volunteered to help the UIM with their national campaign and this national campaign of ours basically entails just uh, obviously growing the party, going out, speaking to the people about our policies and about the UIM. Um, so uh, if you look at the way the uh, you know, other political parties campaign and the way it's done in America, you know, campaigning basically, let's take America as an example. Uh, I mean, those guys spend two years on their campaigns uh, and they get on the road and they travel all across the country and they speak to their voters and obviously um, tell their voters what they stand for, obviously share their policies with the voters and or, or the public and basically tell those people and educate those people as to what they are going to do when they are given the chance to govern. So we are de doing things a little bit differently. Um, we are also very actively involved in community work, obviously, because this is something that I think the majority of the UIM's members or the people that are part of our inner structures have a passion for. So we get involved in community projects, obviously, but um, one of the things that we really want to start paying attention to is going out and meeting people, telling people about the UIM, because I find... Uh, every day still that, uh, you know what, when I randomly speak to people about the UIM or people see the logo on my shirt, on the back of my jacket, people ask questions. They want to know who's the UIM. So that means that there's a lot of people out there that still don't know us. And it's very important for us that in 2024, if somebody picks up a ballot paper to vote, I don't want them to say, uh, who's the UIM? People should all know the UIM by that, at that, by that stage. So this is what our teams are currently helping us with. Um, we are going to be talking about Team Cape Town specifically tonight. So uh, what we have done is we started off 
creating smaller branches within Cape Town, and we found that uh, it wasn't working as well as we hoped because the UIM is not has not grown significantly enough. So we have basically dissolved all those smaller branches to form one big branch, or as we call it, team in Cape Town. We want to get away from that word. Uh, the team functions like a branch, but uh, we don't want to use the term branch. It's a team of people in Cape Town that are helping us grow the party and campaign in Cape Town. And obviously, those people are also getting involved with community work projects, uh, issues in Cape Town itself. And we are trying to replicate that all over the country. So as I said, we've got a small team in Soweto that is currently growing. And then we've got our Cape Town team. We have two people that have been appointed as uh, regional team coordinators. And that is uh, Shafiq and Joanne, who you guys will be meeting tonight. And it's their responsibility to lead those teams. Um, so they are the coordinators for the Western Cape region. So if Team Cape Town grows big enough and the need arises for us to split it into smaller teams, we will do it. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. But for now, I think um, with the amount of people that we have that have volunteered in Cape Town, I think um, we've got enough people to form one team. Um, so I'm very grateful to all those people that have volunteered to help us in Cape Town. These are people that are, you know, um, using their spare time to help the UIM in any which way they can. Um, most of these people have day jobs. They work from Mondays to Fridays. So they are actually going out on weekends to help us build the party, grow the party, and to obviously speak to all the people in Cape Town, in all the areas, suburbs, communities about the UIM. So that is what we, uh, that's what we are busy with, and that is what we want to obviously replicate all across South Africa. So um, I'm asking if, if for all of you listening and watching this live out there in other provinces, if you guys want to do a similar thing, if you guys want to get involved and help us, if you guys want to form your, your own teams in your own cities or uh, regions, please let us know because we would like to obviously um, by the end of by the time the election arrives, we want to be visible, obviously, in every province and region in South Africa. So um, Cape Town, Team Cape Town is doing well. I'm hoping that uh, the team members will join me tonight on this live so that you guys can meet them. And then they, I want to give them the opportunity to also uh, discuss what this whole team structure is all about. And um, just to obviously tell you guys as well what they are busy with at the moment and how they are going about um, helping the UIM grow and building the party and obviously campaigning. Uh, so I'm just waiting for them to send me requests so that I can add them to this live. I see I haven't received any requests yet. So especially uh, to Shafiq and Joanne, please send me a request. I would like to introduce you to our viewers tonight. Um, while I'm waiting for those uh, requests, guys, are there any questions or any any uh, anything that I can any questions that I can answer while I'm waiting. Um, good evening to everybody. Thank you for all the 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 well wishes and um, yeah. Unfortunately, I can't say hi to every single person uh, on this live, but I see there's about 192 of you currently watching. So good evening, guys. Welcome. The UIM is doing very very well. Um, ah, let me not waste any more time. This the request just came through. So just give me one second. I'm just trying to add Joanne. There's Joanne. Hi, Joanne. Hi, HG. Good evening, everyone that's on the live tonight. Just give me one second, Joanne. I'm going to add Shafiq as well. Let's hold thumbs. <laughs> yeah, and once he's, uh, once he's been added, then I'll quickly introduce you guys. And then we'll have a little bit of fun, because I'm going to talk to you. You know, we're very nervous, isn't it? Good evening, Shafiq. Good evening, uh, good evening, Jacques. Good evening, Good evening, everybody. 
Guys, so there you have it. That's our, um, those are our two team leaders in uh, the region of the Western Cape. That's our two regional team coordinators, uh, Joanne Niertling and Shafiq Amardin. So um, they've been with this party for, uh, I mean, Shafiq has been with us since the party began last year, when, even when it began as a movement. And Joanne has also been with us for almost a year now. So um, welcome, guys. I, would, I don't want to talk too much. I want to give you guys the opportunity to uh, talk about Team Cape Town, obviously, and then just to tell the people what, uh, what Team Cape Town is all about, what you guys are doing, what we are busy with, and then uh, speak to the people out there and uh, ask them to please, uh, you know, volunteer. If they want to join Team Cape Town, they must contact you guys. So, uh, ladies first, Shafiq. <laughs> to Joanne to speak first. So Joanne, please go ahead. Thank you, SG. Uh, good evening again, everyone. As you all know, we are Team Cape Town for UIM in the Western Cape. What we are busy doing is we canvassing, we're getting the name out there in all communities. We've been involved with communities. Any issues, the smallest little thing that you can do in your community do with people. I encourage you, just go out and do it. Even if it's just a street light or a pothole, as soon as you fix it and you tell them, I'm Joanne from UIM, immediately the people want to know more. Who are you? Where are you from? What is UIM? That's how we're going to get our name out there. Canvas, 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 canvas. That, that's the main thing at this moment. Yes, we would love more members to join Team Cape Town. We would love to grow the Western Cape major, major. Um, as I said, community work, that is our biggest thing at this moment, to show the communities that we are there. We are listening to the people in each, every single community. It's not just one community, two communities. We're listening to all communities, listening to what the problem is, yeah, what, what is the people's cry out there? They're hungry. They need work. They're not getting the service from city of Cape Town. Potholes aren't getting repaired. Lights aren't getting fixed. Elderly people are contacting me from a certain area telling me they are scared at night because the lights aren't working. I phone city of Cape Town. I've got it repaired. Those people are so happy. This is what we need to do, people. We're not here to name or shame anyone or any council or any party. We're just here for the people of South Africa. And that's the way we're going to grow the UIM, by being there for the people. So this Thank is you, what doing, Doc. Well said, well said. And I want to tell the people out there that, you know what, uh, uh, the, the things that you can't repair with money, you can repair with effort. So uh, if, if enough people get together and enough people make the effort, I mean, uh, in most cases, you know what, big funds are not needed. Uh, it's a well-known fact that we don't have the money. We have always uh, made sure that the people understand out there that we are not an NPC. We are not a charity Correct. organization. It gets difficult sometimes because people phone us and they want us to come and fix stuff, you know, stuff that costs money. And that's very difficult to do because we don't have it. But what we do have is... Uh, I mean, we, we, we have time and, uh, and we make the effort. I mean, you have done so much in your community, Joanne. And I mean, uh, I don't believe you've spent a cent uh, up until now uh, in all those things that you have achieved. I mean, you've been in the newspaper countless uh, uh, number of times with the work that you are doing. So people must just understand that there's a lot that can be done without money. And this is what we are, what we are trying to do. Even if we just you know, put the uh, highlight certain issues or uh, draw attention to certain issues, you know, in, uh, even if we just pick up the phone and phone those people that should be fixing those things, we make sure that it gets done. Um, so this, that is what we are busy with. The smallest act of kindness is what we need to do. Exactly, exactly. Shafiq, try to top that. <laughs> I can't top that. <laughs> yes, he's just a woman to it. At the moment, <laughs> like, we are doing so much in Cape Town, trying to grow the UIM. Because, you know, when we started off in the very beginning, we were a movement. And then the local government elections came up. On that short period of time, I think it was just about a month, less than a month, we went out canvassing, we were speaking to people, we took Neil around the whole of Cape Town to go and speak to people who went up to Durban, Joburg. 
So we want to bring that back. Neil will be joining us as soon as he has time over the weekend and is more fit to be out. And another thing, I'm busy with an initiative like we all know with me and Neil and the CRU did on the very beginning before we started a political party. We're trying to bring it back. Unfortunately, the EMF hijacked it in Mitchell's plane. So I'm going back there to try and boost our morale again with the people. Because, you know, we stand for the people because we are the people. None of us are politicians or anything. We are just going there to grow apart to make a better South Africa come 2024. Because I have kids, Joanne has kids. A lot of us here have kids that are still growing up. We need to make a future for them because we have a job shortage. You know what? I believe we need to get some people on board that can support us to start job okay. development, career development programs. So that we can get the youth back into skills development, put it that way. You know, like soft skills, like pl we can do plumbing, welding. We need people like that to get on board with us so that we can teach these youngsters so that they finish the trick, they can't go to varsity, qualify for funding, give them something to start off with. So that is an initiative we want to bring out there to the people to better everyone's lives in South Africa. Thanks, sir. Shafiq, I'm, Shafiq glad you mentioned the, I'm glad you mentioned the, the, the issue now with the EFF, you know, replicating what we have done and what we actually started. You know what's funny? There's so many things that, so many initiatives that were started by the UIM, but because we, have, we don't have the money or the resources to continue with those projects or programs, other parties, people, whatever, hijack those ideas and they have the money and then they just come and they, they basically do what the UIM started and they take the credit for it, or they, they try to take the, take the credit for it. So that's unfortunate, but I can, uh, if I have to, you know, write down a list of things that I myself have, you know, that I have seen in the last year, things that the UIM started, initiatives that the UIM started, ideas that started with the UIM that have been uh, um, duplicated by other parties. And, you know, some of these parties are actually also taking credit for it. So, but we are not out there to, uh, uh, you know, we don't, uh, what's this, Dolph, uh, for, uh, we don't want we're not there to name shame. No, no. no we will, and, we, and we don't want trophies and medals either. We are doing this because uh, of who we are people. and because we care, because we want to lead by example and we want to show the people exactly. on a small scale what we are capable of and what we will do on, a, on an even bigger scale if we are given the opportunity to do it. So that's why we are Good. always trying to lead by example. So SD, regarding yes. Team Cape Town, what our goal is, we're a group of people, as we said, normal people. We're not politicians. We're doing this because we love UIM. We believe in UIM. We believe in the vision and the mission of UIM. So our goal for Team Cape Town, we just need everyone to stand together. We need to canvas together. We need to work together. We need to go together into areas. There's a lot of areas in the Western Cape. We've got a lot of work laying ahead of us. That is why Shafiq and I need the rest of the team members to do local areas so that Shafiq and I can move further into different areas and start setting up people there as well. So people, come on. Beskop, wacht vir julle. Kom join ons. Ons is lieflike mense hier in die kaap. Ja, lieflike mense wat lieflike kos opmaak. I have to add that. Ja. Dit is waar. Guys, I want to please ask our viewers uh, to, uh, I want you guys to please stay online. I want the people to please ask any questions. Uh, I see we've already got a request. I hope it's a question for either of you. So uh, if you guys, if there are any people living in Cape Town at the moment that want to ask Joanne or Shafiq any questions, I'm going to give you guys an opportunity. So um, I'm, I always struggle to add people to this live for some or other reason. I think people are starting to think that I'm doing it on purpose, but I'm really not honest. Honestly, I'm not. But uh, yeah, let's see if we can start adding some some members of the public to add, to to ask some questions. Uh, I'm I'm trying to add Lorena Celia, so. Lorena, I go, of course, I'm fast. 
Esti, is daar enige iets dat ons nou gemis het met Team Cape Town? Nee, nee, ons het so ver alles... I think you hit it on the head. Uh, there's nothing for me to add. That is what we are doing. That is what we want to do. That is what we are busy with. We just need to grow the team because uh, Cape Town is yes. a big place. There's a lot of areas in Cape Town. Unfortunately, currently, because of people's work constraints, we only have weekends at our disposal. So if you have to go out every Saturday and visit every single community in Cape Town, it's going to take, uh, it's going to take more than two years. So if we have a bigger team, we can divide those teams up into groups and different groups can cover different areas in, in Cape Town. So that's why we are trying to, to build this team. That's, that is the goal. Lorena, sorry, unfortunately, um, yeah, your, your request has uh, uh, expired. Oh, I will try again. There's Steve. Yeah, I'm Steve. Good evening, evening, Uncle Steve. <laughs> Good evening, Team Cape Town. So, Steve, before wanna... you take over, before you take over, I just want to quickly introduce you as well, because you have a very specific role as well with regards to the team structure in the UIM. You are our national team coordinator. So all our regional team coordinators uh, report to you. And uh, you are basic. you manage the managers. And Shafiq and Joanne is in charge of the Western Cape region as far as the teams go. So I just wanted to quickly just introduce you properly. Well, first, of, first of all, I just want to say I'm so proud of these guys. They work very hard and they they take a lot of time away from their family to do what they do. And we really appreciate that. So as Joanne and Shafiq said, we're trying to build Team Cape Town, but we'd like to build Team South Africa eventually. That's where we want to get to. So I'm going to come with the, the, the question to ask. We need help with this. We clearly need help with this. So what we are hoping for is that we... I, I'm not even going to say hoping for. I'm going to challenge every listener or viewer tonight. If you can help us to get gazebos that we can brand with a URM and pull up banners, pop up banners, so that when these guys go out into areas, that they don't just look like a bunch of two or three people walking around. They want to have a stand that they can move around to, to different areas, you know, so that people can recognize them like the other parties are doing as well. They have the funding to do it. Unfortunately, we don't. So I'm, a, I'm a pleading, I'm pleading to you, appealing to you, excuse my language, yeah? <laughs> I'm appealing to you guys. If you are able to help us um, uh, with sponsors for such things, just a normal gazebo and a table and maybe two or three chairs that we can put over there when we're in the communities so that people can see that we're there. We can also use it as our, at our um, soup kitchens where we feed people, which happens a lot. We also have people in our team Cape Town that is, that is helping people to grow their own vegetables and supplying them with the, the seeds and the spade and the pitchfork and what have you. So we've got these little initiatives going at the moment and it's awesome, but we need your help. We really do because obviously we are here to help people. This is our passion in life. And this is um, the vision that Neil De Beer had in the beginning and still has. And we want to follow that, that uh, um, passion and uh, that, that idea. So the vision is very important to all of us. So if there's any way that anyone on this team or on this live tonight are willing to sponsor us gazebos that we can brand, and uh, pop up banners we'd really appreciate it it will help us a lot and obviously i mean food uh, um, non-perishable foods and things like that we need it people we need it we need to help the people out there people are hungry so i just want to say to joanne and shafiq and the rest of the team cape town well done on what you're doing you know that we support you we love you and uh, we're always there for you guys but, uh, yeah, I'm not involving myself too much. I'm waiting for the complaints so I can uh, <laughs> fix the complaints. 
but you guys are so important to us and uh, thank you so much for what you do and thank you Jacques for everything that you do for us as well we really appreciate you yes and thank you to you um, Steve you, you, you do just as much <laughs> well. I appreciate it I know if I don't thank, thank you, you long year. if I don't thank you I'm getting a phone call straight after this live so let me <laughs> You're probably getting a phone call anyway. <laughs> I do. I get, a, I get a phone call every Wednesday after the live. I get a phone call. Well, Essie, I'm, I don't phone you so much, so you can't no, you put don't. me on that list. That's why I always answer when you phone, because I know when you phone, it's serious. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, can I just, can I just, I, I think Cherie's is monitoring the thing. Cherie's, if you can put my email address on here, please. So if people want to help us, um, they can email me at steve at uimsa.org. And then I can pass this on to um, our SG Jacques and obviously also on to Shafik and um, Joanne. Um, so they can see that uh, we do care, the people out there do care and we all want to go ahead. So just once again, thank you. And thank you for taking the time out to view and to listen to our calls. We appreciate you all. Thank Good you, night. Steve. Thank you yeah, very sure. much. I'd just like to comment on one of these comments that came here. Unfortunately, we're all white party. We are a mixed race party with different religions, cultures, and backgrounds. So this is Maria Ocafik. Ocafik. Unless, unless the lights are bad in your house. Um, excuse me for saying that. You don't look white to me. <laughs> I am not white, eh? So maybe let me just make some of this get my with you because I seem to be going to buy Because I'm sitting in my uh, two regional coordinators and people are asking if we're all white party. So you know yes. what? been a long week i'm tired i'm not gonna even answer that i'm just gonna leave it there sure okay please continue something about that i just had to say that yeah, no. shafiq can you please give your email address as well so that people can know and i will mention mine as well okay uh, shafiq s-h-a-f-i-e-k at u-i-m-s-a dot org and mine, any ladies or any person that would like to email me to find out more about Team Cape Town, it's Joanne, J O A N E, at U I M S A dot org. There we go, people. Cherise, please put those email addresses on the, on the live as well, there in the comment box. And please, Shafiq and Joanne, if you don't mind, uh, I don't, uh, don't want to put your numbers on the the live unless you give me consent or a permission to do so but if it's okay with you can Cherise post your phone numbers as well? Cherise said it klaar is die. Klaar okay. van answer here. Thank you. I see there was a comment that came through Shafiq that your teeth are white. So, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, okay. I the main Gotta love the people, man. Gotta love the people. Any of, okay. Is there any of our the Western Cape team members on the live that would like to come on as well and have a say? Yes, Shal Bester. Thank you, Shal. Come on, let's see if Shal can add. Yeah, let's see if we can add Shal. Another member of Team Cape Town. Good evening, Shaw. Evening, Shaw. Good evening, guys. So let me formally introduce you wanted... as well, Shaw, because I did it with everybody else. So, uh, guys, Shaw Bester, he's also a member of Team Cape Town and a very active one at that. So, uh, come on, I'm from uh, Shaw. <laughs> okay. Um, I just felt, <clears throat> good evening, everybody. I just felt the need to obviously join uh, Shafiq and Joanne, our leaders or our coordinators. And then also, for the person that asked the question, I'm the one that actually said Shaf Shafiq Steve is white. <laughs> um, <laughs> I actually joined, you know, to show that, you know what, it's not all white, it's diverse. We are a diverse uh, party, like I said in my comment as well. Um, also, not only in race, but in religion. And the best of all is 
we respect all race and all religions. And that's what makes us different. So, what is that? Thank um, you. I see, there's a, I see there's a Beverly that's saying, hello, Charles. I see the same surname, but I'm not, probably not family. <laughs> Yeah, Charles, so, thank you. Thank uh, you I, don't know. I appreciate you coming on and just putting the record straight because if I actually look at the four of us down there, I would actually ask the opposite question. <laughs> but anyway, but thanks a lot. So, we appreciate it. I don't know. I don't know if there's any other questions from any other members on the group that any of us can answer because it's going to come straightforward because. Especially with me, I'm for the community, I work in the community, so there's no holding back for what we do, when we do, and at what time we do. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. Yeah, please, uh, guys, you've got the opportunity now to ask your questions. Um, I'm not even going to answer those questions. You've got your three team members here on this panel tonight. So if you have any questions related to Cape Town or Team Cape Town or just uh, any other general questions are, are also uh, welcome. So please send me a request if you want to ask any questions, if you want me to add you to this live. And Charles, you know what's the best about us in Team Cape Town, that we work together as a team? Yeah, as teamwork that makes the dream work. Awesome. Correct. There you go. And if anybody's looking for school, go out at night. If we just playing, you'll find him on the road somewhere patrolling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the this is one thing that I want to highlight is the fact that every single sitting here at the moment, you guys have all got uh, day jobs, and I mean some of you work overtime as well, and I mean you guys still find yeah. time to devote to the UIM. You guys still find time to do a little bit of a little bit extra over the weekends, and we really really appreciate it because uh, you know it's not like it to to give up your your weekends or your your off time. I mean, you have so little. So, we really, really, I mean, we, we, we notice it and we acknowledge it and we want to say thank you. Um, I really appreciate it. But it's those things, the things that you guys are doing that are actually making a difference and it's helping us grow. So, buy a buy a donkey for my car. Thank you. Well, it's, it's, about, it's about the change. You know, if you, want to, if you want to see change, you've got to be there to make the change. We can't all sit behind a, a, a keyboard and want to see a post on Facebook or see a post on WhatsApp or on a group um, of unhappy people and people want to type whatever they feel, but they're not willing to come out to assist. So, you know, why make a comment if you're not willing to do the work? So I normally say, you know, some people can, some people can't. But there's different ways that people can, you know, show their support, especially with us. Like, you can either um, donate, you can donate towards the, 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 the party. Um, you can offer up time on a weekend to even ease to go canvas, hand out pamphlets. There's many ways you can show support. I mean, like as she said now, a lot of us work, we work during the day. I'm one of them that work seven days a week. I'm in the retail industry. So now people ask me, where do I find the time? I work. I do community work. I have a family. So how do you balance all of that? So it's, it's, it's when you can and what you can do that makes a difference. But then you can say that, you know what? You are trying or you are trying to be the change that you want to see. And that is why I always put out there, be the change that you want to see. And that is what, that's the best way. Exactly, Charles. You know, and to those people out there that don't have the time or don't have the money or don't have the, uh, uh, that's also understandable. But to those people, I just want to say, if you are only going to be, if, you, if you're only going to stick to comments there, make it positive comments. Uh, make it encouraging comments. Because, uh, I mean, if you guys don't want to... Uh, go out and do the work, that's fine. I mean, people's circumstances differ. Uh, a lot of people don't have the time. I know a lot of people personally, awesome, great people that love the UIM that just simply don't have the time. And that's fine. 
But if you're going to resort yourself to being uh, or to commenting or uh, uh, keeping your support, uh, or you're gonna, if you're going to limit it or restrict it to comments, then please make those comments encouraging ones. Don't break us down and say negative stuff about us. If you're not willing to uh, at least meet us in the first place, speak to us, spend some time with us, um, and work with us. And if you guys can't, if you don't have the time, then please be grown up enough to appreciate the effort that we are making, to acknowledge what we are doing, and then please support us with your comments and make those comments positive ones and make those comments uh, uh, ones of encouragement. Don't break us down because uh, we're actually doing it for all of you as well. We are, what we are doing now, we are doing for the haters out there as well because everybody is going to benefit from our hard work and similar parties out there. All other parties out there that are also doing good work, everybody's going to benefit. Haters, non-haters, supporters, everybody, every citizen in South Africa. We're not only doing this for UIM members, we're doing it for all the people in South Africa. Whether you like us or whether you hate us or whether you support us, we don't care. We're doing it for everybody. But we would really appreciate your support. And if you don't want to support, and you don't want to help, then rather than just keep quiet, leave your negative comments for yourself. People yeah, and guys, just remember, it, it took me a lot to actually send the uh, SG the request to come on live. Because I don't like lives. I don't like, he's been trying to get me on a live for dinner how long already. <laughs> but um, I thought, you know what, tonight is the night. I'm going to pack up. Shafiq, Shafiq um, was also not uh, that uh, camera friendly normally. So Anne is Facebook live, you know. I don't know why she's shy. But yeah, um, guys got me tonight. So I'm here. So... Where's the where's the questions from the from the people? There's somebody that said that you guys rock. You know, we don't rock without people. Correct. It's the people that make us rock. Shall, you know, uh, so we need more people to make us rock. Shall I just want to quickly reply to your remark now that uh, you you don't you didn't want to join these lives and so I just want to tell you a little story and this is actually a story that Neil tells, um, and it's that story that he always tells uh, in meetings. Uh, you know, when he was in the army, when he got asked, I think it was by a corporal or a sergeant or something to go and make coffee. He decided to make the best cup of coffee he could possibly make because he wanted to impress the sergeant. And he made the coffee so good that uh, afterwards he was also, that sergeant always asked him to go and make coffee. Uh, so <laughs> unfortunately, you have now proven to me that you are actually very comfortable in front of a camera. So this is the last time that you will be joining me on this one. Um, I see Mr. Zitzman is also here somewhere commenting. <laughs> I don't know why he's not coming on. <laughs> don't change yeah. the subject, Sean. <laughs> yeah, Arnold. No, no, Zitzman, yeah, no. um, okay. I mean, uh, Arnold was actually one of the people that came up with this brilliant idea of having multiple spokespersons or people in the Western Cape Shore. He was actually, uh, yeah. that woman, I had him in my vision uh, from my vizier gehad. So I've seen no creep of us back. So uh, uh, Reverend Arnold. Yeah, he's, he's there. People, it's time for a change. It's time that you need to stop thinking about the past. Stop thinking about, but what about that and what about that? We need to change. Give UIM at least 10 minutes of your time and hear what we got to say. Then you can decide yes or no. We've got a perfect lady, Diane. She does Zoom meetings. You can hear all about what UIM is about. So please, people, spread the word. Speak to your family, speak to your friends, speak to your co-workers. Just tell them, have you met UIM? Have you heard about UIM? Contact us. We have we so many people that can come out and come and speak in your area. So it's yes, fine, people. people. Yes, please. Uh, this, is a, this is a party. This is a party for the people and uh, the people, uh, supporters, viewers, voters alike. 
all of you are helping us grow and all of you are helping us build this part. Um, and you are doing that with your voices and your actions. So please uh, talk about the UIM, these lives that we do, the messages that we post on Facebook, please share, share those messages. Share. Yeah, please share it. And uh, let's, yeah. uh, let's build this party uh, as citizens of South Africa. So, uh, uh, guys, uh, there's, from my side, uh, there's nothing left to say. I mean, if you guys each want to uh, uh, have a final word, I see there's no comments anymore. There's no questions coming through. There's no requests to join. So, Arnold says he does. Uh, where must he go to join? Oh, Arnold, there's a small little icon at the bottom of your screen. It's a green little icon of a person. Of a, it's a graph, no? It's yeah. green. It's supposed to be so, green. You just so click on it and I'll get a request. Charles, is there anything you would like to end off with? Um, at the moment, nothing from my side. I, I think I saw a comment now that I was just looking for, or a question that I was looking for now. I wasn't sure. Um, so I'm just trying to scroll through here quickly and just check. Okay, there's somebody asking when you're coming to Phoenix. That's obviously for the guys out that side. Um, so I'll answer that. No, I don't. Soon. We had a meeting last night and we actually spoke about Phoenix. We spoke about that first visit I did with Neil in Durban, which was probably one of the greatest visits that I have done with Neil since I've been with the UIM. We always speak about that three-day trip that we had in Durban over coffee, the way that people received us, the way that people treated us there in Durban, uh, Chatsworth and Phoenix. That was, in to me, that was one of the most memorable experiences I've had in the UIM so far. We touched on it last night. We actually spoke about it last night on our NEC meeting. And uh, I spoke to uh, Ronnie, Ronnie, who is our main representative there in Durban, uh, along with Jay, our counselor. And I spoke to them and I told them that we need to come up with a plan, myself and Neil and Fatima or whoever is available, especially Neil. We need to go back to Durban. The people in Durban feel, I get the sensation and I've heard by the grapevine that the people feel that we have uh, neglected them, that we've dropped them, that we came there and we disappeared. That is not what happened. People must just realize we've got a whole country that we want to reach. We are short staffed. Um, <laughs> There's a lot of reasons I can give tonight, but I don't want to make excuses. Uh, what I really want to say is we are definitely, definitely coming back to Durban. We want to come and show the people there that the UIM has not gone anywhere. We have not disappeared. We are still very much alive and well. And uh, what we said the last time we were there, we are sticking to those promises and we meant what we said and we want to pick up where we left off. So we miss the people of Durban and we want to go back as soon as possible. Okay, and then there's also somebody there. Um, I think it's uh, is it uh, Dougie Brown. That wanneer kom jylle Easter of hier toe? I think Dougie or Dougie Brown. I think needs to make contact with um, Joanne and Shafiq, and let's see how we can obviously make contact and get to Easter of um, and obviously gather there and have a little bit of a meeting there. Um, so yeah, hopefully they'll make contact with Joanne or uh, Shafiq so that we can get to Easter of Fear. Nee. Yeah. We'll have to do Easter of Fear over a weekend, eh? Because you know, the week is quite tight now at the moment for me. I don't know about Joanne because she's also working. Like the South Shore, we work full days. So, you know, our Saturdays and Sundays we can accommodate people that want us to come around and speak to them. We yes. are open to that. Now, the, the, yeah, the quicker we can grow Team Cape Town, the, the quicker we can start, you know, splitting up the teams into smaller groups so that we can cover more areas at once. I mean, Neil has, uh, Neil has given me and you guys and the Western Cape and well, for the rest for that matter, the UIM, his commitment that he's going to do whatever he can with his uh, 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 abilities and capabilities to uh, go out and meet the people. I mean, obviously, he's, a he's, got a, he's got a day job as well, but he's going to make the effort. And uh, Neil has told me that he can cover, if he, if he has to do three, four, five visits on a Saturday and go and speak to um, people in five different areas on a Saturday, 
he's more than willing to do it. We don't have to do one area every weekend. We can do multiple areas, but the bigger the team gets, the bigger we can grow this team, the more easy it's going to become to enable us to do just that. Yeah, that I'm is the goal for us. And join me in the evenings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. now, I think he's going to have to do yeah, so protein shakes first, Chopik. He needs to uh, he, he needs to get the <laughs> muscle and the weight and the strength back first. <laughs> Shafiq, jy moet maar begin Samosa sy goed maak Het ons van Neil kan gee asjeblief <laughs> No, 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 no Samosa is for me It's for me Oh, Samosa is for you, ah, ok, ok Ons sal maar vet koeken moet maak Voor dat Samosa is, you must come to Westgate man. Oh, is it? As ek, oh, jene, ok <laughs> Ja, Miriam still is Shafiq's wife still gives me a dinner I mean, she, uh, no it's been three, five, okay. three, four months now, and um, yeah, I always hear about and all these samosas and dolce. But that's not what I blame us, okay? Okay, is she gonna come here with you? When you Cape Town? I'm coming on the 16th of this month. I'm back in Cape Town. Okay. Shafiq, we will discuss. A dolce and a samosa. Yes. Saphobia. No, sorry. And it's a master. And the right the copenar a braai. Exactly, exactly. Um, guys, I just want to thank you for joining me tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you for the great show. I'm glad thank that uh, uh, our viewers out there had a chance now to meet. Uh, I, I, I would have liked for them to meet the rest of our current team members as well. But Charles, thank you for quickly popping in uh, just to come and make a statement. I think... Uh, that statement was made and the point was taken. <laughs> and uh, Shafiq and Joanne, our two regional leaders, um, thank you for your hard work. Thank you for joining us. And, um, Steve, our national uh, reach, uh, team leader, thank you for popping in as well. Uh, final words from each one of you before I say goodbye. And I just want to thank everybody that joined tonight as well. And thank you for your support. We appreciate it. Joanne, you can go, go guys. first. Yeah. <laughs> guys. Go Everyone, UIM family, UIM members, co-workers, family, friends, we're all here together for one goal, and you all know what that is, to make South Africa a better place. So give us that opportunity, people, please. Have a lovely evening, all. Thanks, Joanne. Uh, Shaul? Right, guys. Um, yeah, look, first and foremost, um, we are where we are, and we cannot do anything without, you know, the Almighty. And that is what we're based on as a political party. Christ or, or Shafiq or for the Muslims, Allah, all the other religions. You know what? There's nothing we can do without it. Right? So that is, we need to build on that. And further than that is, let's be the change we want to see. That's it from me. Thanks a lot, Shal. Shafiq, final word to you. Guys, ladies, and guys, please join us. Come support us, man. Grow this party so we can make a difference in 2024. And the men and the young boys, 21 and above. If you guys are free on a weekend, let me know. We can hit the roads and do some patrols and keep our women and children safe. Thanks a lot. Awesome, Shafiq. Thanks a lot, guys. Nice. guys thank, thank you very you. much. Have a lovely evening. Um, <laughs> Thanks. Guys, next week. Uh, take care and yeah, we'll chat soon. Goodbye, everybody. Bye, guys. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.